And we're up to number two. And number two is the reveal of Cortana. And this scene made Halo nerds go absolutely berserk, and I understand that. It's a great moment because this is the scene that establishes what your purpose and what Noble Six's purpose and what Noble Team's purpose was in this game and what Noble Team's purpose was in the whole Halo canon. So it was a, just a fantastic moment. You don't get to see, you don't get to hear Cortana talk. You only get to see the briefest, briefest glimpses of her. Um, but even then, it's just a, it, you know, you know, just from her silhouette that you know that's Cortana that you bring there. That's what you have to do. That's why. You, that's what your purpose was. Uh, and never is it more apparent than in that scene when it's finally revealed to you. Um, great moments of dialogue. She has, you know, she has made her. She has made her choice. It's got a great. It's got a great soundtrack to the to the scene. Um, that is. That it's just it's just a fantastic scene all around. It's a really powerful scene, and it takes place just after that massive uh, massive fight at the, the defense of uh, of the labs. So it's it's really it works well so well all around. Um, it's a great moment, and that is why it is number two. What is this stuff? Knowledge. A birthright from an ancient civilization. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Chosen? By an AI? By this AI, yes. Her measure of you carries as much weight as my own. Perhaps more. You are to take her to the UNSC shipbreaking yard in Azad. There, you'll find a Halcyon-class cruiser waiting to get her off-planet. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless we can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant. A game-changer on the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel in the 23rd. And what if we can't? An apt question, if there were somewhere else to place our hope. There is not. Take it, Lieutenant. She has made her choice. Do you have it? Yes. Say the words, please. I have it. Dr. Halsey, Noble Three will escort you to Castle Base. I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary, sir. Good luck. You too, Rifleman. I need a heading dot. At three kilometers north, Turn right, heading 050. Which leads to? The shipbreaking yards in Azod. The only off-planet extraction point left on this continent. Small-scale air attacks have decimated many convoys en route. An armada of Covenant cruisers is hastening to the site as well. UNSC cruiser, Pillar of Autumn, is awaiting your arrival. Wouldn't be a noble mission if it were easy. to the first and final of the top five. 
And there was never any question to me, this is the one that I, I thought was the best scene. Then no question. And it is the opening to chapter 8. Um, this scene was so good. And it was almost entirely because of Marty O'Donnell's score and the visuals. There is such little dialogue in the scene. There, very, there barely is any dialogue in the scene. In fact, actually, I think that there was probably not supposed to be any dialogue in the scene at the very beginning. I think they added in a few bits at the very end. Um, but it's a, great, it's a great scene simply because of the score. Because you're looking at his Noble Six. He's by, you're by yourself. You're Noble Six. You're by yourself. And you're looking out upon the destroyed and destruction of what is happening to Reach. And I always felt like you're... The, you know, that great line from Futurama where it's just a big epitome of war where, you, where Zap Brannigan says to all these troops just before they're about to go into battle with the, uh, with the, with the big balls, with the, with the big giant balls. He says, many of you will be dying for your planet. Many of you will be fighting for your planet. Many of you will be dying for your planet. Some of you will be forced through a fine mesh screen for your planet. Those will be the lucky ones. And he's like, why are we, why are we dying for this planet? Don't ask me. You're the ones who are going to be dying. Yeah, um, it became very apparent in that scene that that was what was going to be happening, that people were going to be fighting and people were going to be dying all around you, all for the, for the safety of the planet. And it became very apparent at this point that there was, the planet was going to fall, that there was, no, there was no defense that was possible for the planet by this point. Um, it is such a powerful scene, such, you know, so important, of, you know, such a great, great way of depicting war. Bungie in this game did such a great job of depicting what a real battlefield would be like and that's just a testament to the fact that they've gotten so much better after releasing game after game. You know, their, 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 their design style and their animation style just got so much better. It, it just really felt like you were in a war. That you were in a war that you were going to lose at that moment. So, congratulations. That is why it is number one. Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter-op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. <laughs>